Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to the Chris Craft booth at the 2024 Miami International Boat Show. My name is Allison Sharno. I am Vice President of Marketing and Customer Experience. Um, first off, I just wanted to take the time to just, on the behalf of the entire Chris Craft team, to thank you all for being here with us today. Um, we know it's a very busy time, and we appreciate a few minutes that you'll be spending with us this afternoon. As you know, the Miami International Boat Show is probably one of the biggest events in our industry. I mean, look around, this is amazing. We're so excited to be here, so excited to sell some boats here this weekend. Um, and we felt that you know, launching the 150th campaign or the anniversary of our brand was the most perfect spot to do that right here in Miami at the show with all of you here today. So thank you again for being here with us today. Um, for over a century and a half, um, Chris Craft has really been more than just a boat brand. Um, it's been an integral part of the American story. Um, and what we love to say at Chris Craft too is that, you know, the, the history of our company really hit, mirrors the history of our country. It is just such an amazing brand with an incredible reputation and we're so proud to sit here today and say that you know we're at 150 years. So with that we wanted to kick it off with a short video um, and show you a little history video that we put together. I promise it's only a minute. Um, so we're going to kick it off with that and then we'll lead it over to, to Steve. What makes an icon? For 150 years, Chris Craft has built more than boats. We've built a reputation for timeless design and elegant style that are the roots of America's long love affair with life on the water. Throughout our rich history, this reputation has made Chris Craft a favorite of presidents, celebrities, and legends of American affluence, with names like Roosevelt, Kennedy, Ford, and Sinatra at the helm. Over 50 years ago, we built our last mahogany boat and pioneered the path to fiberglass. Today, our boats are at the forefront of design and technology, standing out in a sea of sameness. Each boat that leaves our factory is a testimony to our craft by our skilled artisans. Bow to stern, no detail is overlooked. Hand stitching, hand selected teak, hand polished chrome, a mirror-like painted finish, and the iconic deep V hull. Both timeless and ever-evolving, Chris Craft boats have always been one thing, an elegant icon of the good life, cutting through the water and right into our souls, passed down for generations to come. We build the very best so that every Chris Craft owner will know in their hearts their boat was built without compromise. That legacy is as evident today as it was in the beginning, and we'll carry it forward with pride into the next century and beyond. All right, so as you can see, many of the principles that defined us 150 years ago uh, still defined us today. You know, Chris Craft is known for, you know, being an iconic symbol of craftsmanship, timeless beauty, and American heritage. And um, together, through generations of craftsmanship, skilled craftsmanship, craftsmen, and employees, and an incredible dealer network, and the best um, owners, um, we've built an, you know, an incredible brand. So with that, I'll pass it over to Steve. He's been the president for over two decades, acquired the company back in 2001. Since I, he won't brag, I'll do it for him, and has an incredible story to share. So I'll pass it over to him. Thank you, Allison. Rather daunting, 150 years, right? And as I look around the room here, I um, see a lot of friends that have been watching our company and writing about it. And thank you all for all the support, particularly in the early years of uh, our acquisition. 2000, Stephen and I bought the company. I had three kids in diapers, and uh, you know, it was a crazy time. But we had a, a vision of restoring the company to its former glory. And it really, I mean, the ideas are the easier, the easy part of, of any plan, but the company has a fantastic history that was created long before Stephen and I bought the company. Um, and it was built on craftsmanship, and it was built on quality, it was built on exceptional design, and to the point where there are books written about it. And so, you know, it's humbling to take a brand like that and say, okay, what are we gonna do with this? And it started with design, and um, we've been so blessed. Uh, blessed for the relationships that we built with you all over the years and blessed 
Um, I've been blessed to be surrounded by a fantastic group of people and I honestly feel we have the best management team in our industry and um, the brightest days of our company are in front of it, believe it or not, after 150 years. So as Allison said, it started in 1874 in Detroit, Michigan. A young man named Christopher Columbus Smith started building duck boats. And if you look at the key points in history of our company, the advent of the automobile, Chris Kraft was there, marinizing engines and building race boats in the, in the 20s. The entire company supported the war effort. All the production was built to build craft for the military, including the, the boats that were used in the D-Day invasion in, in Normandy. And then after the war, participated with the, with the prosperity that was created in our country to the point where the grandson of the founder wound up on the cover of Time Magazine in 1959 as the guy that brought boating to America, recreational boating became a thing. So we've got this fantastic brand, this fantastic history. It's on our management team to build terrific product. And it's a, it's a, you know, we recognize we're standing on the shoulders of a lot of people. I've been blessed to be president of the company for 25 years. It's only one sixth of the company's life. It's amazing, isn't it? So um, we've got a, a fantastic history, a fantastic brand, and a continue to have a fantastic opportunity. It's our license to build great product as best as we know how without regard to cost. Our mantra as a company is better, 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 and I believe that was the mantra that Chris Smith had back in 1874 when he started building duck boats, and that was what built the, the reputation of the, of the company. And there's over 300,000 pictures in the, in the historical record of the company. They're at the Mariner's Museum. We donated the archive to the Mariner's Museum in Newport News, Virginia. They've digitally archived about half of them. They're gonna to get to all of them. But there's fantastic pictures of him and um, of, the, of the original boats that he built, the first store that he opened. It's just, it's, uh, just, it's lore within our company. So if you ever, we have a lot of them at our company, but you can go online and at the Mariner's Museum and see a lot of them if you're interested. So although we got this fantastic history as a company, we look forward I think the products we're building are the best boats we've ever built, loaded with technology, and um, you know it's all about customers. It's not really what we want. It's what we got to keep people happy, and we've been blessed in that regard too. Fantastic customer base that supported us, support our company, and um, you know we sell all over the world. So it's it's uh, it's a dream that's turned out better than I ever could have imagined, and it's because of our team. You know the the. The ideas are the easy part, as uh, anyone that knows that has a business or has ever implemented a plan, the ideas are the easy part, it's the execution, it's everything, and it takes a team. You know, we might be confused that we're in the, in the boat business, we're in the people business. First and foremost, these boats get built by hand, everybody's. So we're 100% in the people business, developing our people, learning skills, and pushing the envelope forward every day. Um, with that, I'd love to turn it over. We've developed or implemented or designed and built the first uh, 150th anniversary boat. It's a 27 launch, which as you know, has been in our product line in various renditions for the last 25 years. It's one of the boats that, that, that built our company and got it on its feet. And I'll turn it over to Ron Berman, our VP of Engineering. Thank you, Steve. Well, I have to say it's an honor to be here and meet with, with everyone on 150 years of Chris Craft. Um, the rich history of the brand, as Steve mentioned, it's, it's an honor to work with such a product line and such beautiful boats. Um, as part of this, we have this beautiful Lunch 27. Um, we have done some updates to it. We know this boat is, a, is loved by fans of our brand the world over. Um, families love it, people love cruising, they love being seen in it. And we've actually made enhancements to it to celebrate our 150th. Before us, we have our 150th edition. We've added a number of touches to it with, with our aquamarine accents, uh, both on the exterior and the interior. Um, these harken back to colors that were part of the brand very early in the history. The interior, also, we've done a unique package with um, our classic almond vinyl with teal accents and special badging throughout. We've also designed a 150th anniversary burgee that's at the front of the boat and it also is on the steering wheel. It, it 
makes a statement for the boat and really sets it apart. We also wanted to do something for all of our owners this year. So every boat we sell during calendar year 24 will feature a 150th Burgee and a special badge on the steering wheel celebrating our 150th. So beyond that, we've done another, a number of other things to the Launch 27 to make it special. Within the cockpit, um, we've taken our beautiful lines um, that everybody recognizes as Chris Craft, such as the reverse transom, our generous use of teak, and the fine craftsmanship, but we've modernized it. The helm features uh, backlit switches, modern Garmin electronics, and detailing that really fits our brand with the stainless steel gauges and the instrument panel material. Beyond that, this boat is known for fantastic performance. So that has been a constant with the model for many years, but we've enhanced that as well. So this boat is standard with a variety of stern drive power, and it's also controlled by Seakeeper Ride, the latest technology in vessel control. So we've maintained the heritage of the brand and this beloved model, and we've upped the ante on, on technology in it through the experience at the helm and ride quality with some of the features we've had. So with that, I think I give it back to Allison. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Um, so as you can see, we have a lot of fun things planned um, to celebrate this anniversary, right? 150 years. So, um, you know, we're inviting our owners to be part of this celebration too. Um, one of the thing, one of the notions we have is that you know everyone has a Chris Craft story. You know, we'll stand here at this booth, we'll stand here um, at different shows, we'll get on an airplane. Um, we wear this logo with pride wherever we go, and the stories that we hear they come right from the heart, and they have a connection with the brand. And so we're going to be launching a campaign that's a photo um, campaign with our owners to invite them to share their photos with us throughout the entire year um, to celebrate with them too because at the core of our brand is our owners it's the connection we have with them that makes the brand so wonderful um, so with that I think Steve you should do the toast here um, we're gonna be passing out some champagne here um, we do have a nice gift that you can go home with a, a nice um, 150th glass engraved um, so we'll leave you in a toast real quick Maybe during this time while they're passing it out, I think we can probably open up to any questions that anybody has um, that you would like to ask, maybe while we're passing out some champagne. Jeez. Which Chris Craft model is you know, most famous, the all-time favorite, most bills, most fan mail? In our, in our. Uh, that's a great question. Probably our 25 launch. I mean, our 27 launch. It's you know, it's um, we, capacity is 50 units a year. We sell. Yeah, it's sold out. I mean, it's it's uh, timeless um, in terms of units. Um, in dollars, it's not there because we build a lot of bigger, more expensive, uh, larger products. So. Um, They'll, they'll eclipse it in dollar terms, but in, in this uh, it, this will probably be in our line long after I'm gone. Because <laughs> people, you know, it's timeless. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks, Gene. Please grab a glass of champagne. Assuming you like French champagne. <laughs> Who doesn't? We have an electric boat. Yes, uh, it's a prototype. We built it last year. Um, wanted to be on the learning curve of electric. We've taken it out and um, done a series of events around the country to gather customer feedback. We got a few orders. We're, we're um, working on the next generations of that right now, and it's going to take time for that to roll out through our product line, but um, it delivers a fantastic uh, experience. It's quiet. It's um, You hear a lot of things you've never heard before uh, driving a boat the wind and the, the waves much more profound? For sure. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this year, but I think it's a, it's a long-term development. Um, but we're excited about the opportunities of electric. There's some shortcomings now that in terms of cost and performance that need to be addressed. But um, I think long-term it's, it's going to be a big part of the marine industry. I will.
So uh, thank you all for coming. Let's all raise a glass. 150 great years and to the next 150. Cheers. Cheers. like a glass of champagne your boat show, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be emailing out uh, media kits, and then we have a special uh, media kit that we have here on the website. We're all about the questions if you have any photos to our dinner.